All right, so we've all done this where we've assigned a research project to kids and then we spend our life trying to find documents that are at their level, helping them find websites that are useful. So today I'm going to show you a really uh, great Google Chrome extension. It's already open in my browser uh, right here, but I'm going to back up the track a little bit, show you how you can get it, and then show you how you can use it. So if you go to um, the Chrome store, and you go, it's uh, read, write, read and write rather. And you go here and it's read and write for Google Chrome. So if you click here and I've already got it added on um, and it tells me that, but if I didn't, there would be a little blue thing that would say add. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna click it and when you do, that extension will show up in your taskbar along the top. And this is a really powerful app. It works both on the net as well as inside Google Docs, Google Slides, everywhere. Okay, so now that I've added my extension, I'm going to close that. And I can now search for my website. So I've already done a little bit of a search. I've gone Planets for Kids because we're doing a research project on solar systems, and I'm good to go. So right off the bat, a um, number of different tools that you can use. Okay, and I'll go over them uh, briefly. So this one here, is hover speech so if I click on that and then I hover over top you will find lots of information about our solar system with lots of questions and answers and games for you to play okay and then we I can just click the pause or the stop so that hover speech as you saw uh, you welcome just... to planets for kids I really hope you now that I've activated it, it's working properly, but you're supposed to just have to hover over top and it will start. Okay, so that's an option. I'm going to unclick it to option that one out. This one is a dictionary. So again, if I click on my dictionary, I have no words selected right now, but if I clicked games and then I, it will come up with a number of dictionary definitions for me, right? So that's a really useful tool, especially once we start getting out of the introduction and into something like astronomy. If I were having a hard time with a word like astronomy. So again, you just select it, you click on dictionary, and now I know it's the study of a science of stars and planets. So something where if kids don't know what a word means, this will help them out huge. Here, this is a picture dictionary. So same idea, except I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go picture dictionary and it's going to come up with a visual image to help me out. So if for some reason the words were too complicated or I was having a hard time understanding, the picture is there as well. So again, we're supporting all multiple intelligences through this program. Um, this is the play, the pause, the stop. So if I want, I can just press play, play. and it will start at the beginning, I believe. I might have to highlight it first rather. And then if I go play. Welcome to Planets for Kids. I really hope you enjoy okay. the information. And that will just keep going. So I'm going to stop that. Um, this is kind of neat. So screenshot reader, you do need something already embedded in here and it will prompt you to add it. But this allows me to just select one part. And it should allow me to play. Information about R. Yeah. We also. So that allows me to hit on a specific part and I can go from there. Um, <clears throat> screen mask, sorry, I apologize, I'm sick, so my voice is very off right now. Screen mask is what it sounds like. It will allow me to highlight certain parts. And that's a really key thing if you've got kids that get distracted easily or read forward, this allows them to just focus on one part at a time. So that's a great feature for that. And again, just to turn it off, I just click on it again. Okay. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you uh, on here before we move ahead is uh, a feature that is really useful. And what it does is it allows you to simplify. So again, right now on this page, if I'm a kid, there is all sorts of stuff. Um, including really big information about coloring pages and quizzes and a video and a song and maybe that's too much maybe I just want to focus on the information um, so 
if I'm doing this research project, I want to simplify my page. So if I click on this simplify page button right there, it just takes the information. It takes out the ad, it takes out the pictures, and yeah, you do lose some of those visuals, but that's okay because here's my bar again. Just to get it, I click that purple button, and now I have everything I need. So this will allow me to do some research, right? So maybe um, as part of an assignment, I have to create a vocabulary list of five words that I don't know. So I'm going to click um, one of my highlighters here, and I'm going to start highlighting words I don't know. So planets is maybe a new word for me. So I'm going to learn about planets, um, astronomy, okay, um, Solar, maybe I don't know what solar is, and that would be an important word for me to know. Um, and maybe asteroid. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that there. Now I've highlighted my five words. If I go to this feature right here where it says vocabulary, and I click vocabulary, this is a really powerful thing. It's going to automatically take that vocabulary and it's going to create a Google Doc automatically, which gives the word, the meaning, and that comes from the definition feature in the app, as well as a symbol. And then under notes, maybe I could get my students to put the definition in their own words, right? Um, so this automatically generates for the student. So again, allowing, taking a text that can be quite difficult. Um, I chose Planets for Kids, but you could take something from Wikipedia or any other website and really breaking it down. So all of a sudden you're not having to work as hard as a teacher to find um, information that's written at an accessible level because this tool will empower the kids to make it accessible for themselves. So really helping them direct their own learning. So this is automatically being created as a, a Google Doc. They could then share it with you as the teacher. They could add it to their drive. Um, the possibilities are endless. So that's the vocabulary list feature. Another really interesting, and to unhighlight anything, all you have to do is click the, the little broom handle there. Um, another interesting feature is, so let's say I want to start my research. Um, and I'm wanting to start to highlight information on different things. So maybe one of my topics is on um, a, uh, the planets. Okay, so I'm going to, so planet, nine planets in my solar system. They, okay, nine planets in my solar system. I know that they circle around the sun. That's something that's important for me to know. Um, and that these are called orbits. Each of those circles is orbits. Okay. Um, and then other information that I might want to know about the solar system is that I have Mercury, Venus, Earth. That would be important for me to know that I have Mars. So I'm starting to pick out my key ideas. Um, and that I have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And I see that this website, oh, they have included Pluto again. The ongoing debate about Pluto. Is it a planet or not? Okay. Um, so that's my key information from this page, right? A lot of information. I've synthesized it. I've picked out the main ideas, the most important part. Such an important skill for our kids as we know, right? And now if I go to collect the highlights and I say, yeah, we'll just collect them all. I go, okay. Again, creating a Google Doc for me. And now it's taken all that information that was highlighted and put it into jot notes for me. So now as a student, I can take those jot notes and I can make my paragraph, right? So I could say um, there are nine planets in our solar system. Each of these planets circle around the sun and each of these circles is called an orbit. Uh, the nine planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. So huge help in terms of all of my jot notes are there ready to go I can create my paragraph which is amazing and then um, more importantly I can it really does prevent against um, this idea of plagiarism you're focusing on just highlight keywords highlight your jot notes it takes the jot notes and from there I can go
which is a really powerful tool. Um, so that's another really great feature of this wonderful Chrome extension. So if I go back to here, uh, the last feature I'm going to show you is a new feature. First, I'm going to clear everything. Um, and for me as a teacher, this makes me unbelievably excited. So a new feature, this is called practice reading aloud. So with this tool, I could have this text read to me very easily. Um, and I should say, if I want to do the reading feature, um, so I'm going to highlight and I want it read to me. So I'm going to press play. Welcome to Planets for Kids. I really hope you enjoy. If I don't like the sound of the voice or if I want it slowed down, I go to settings and here you can change it. OK, so you can imagine how much fun kids would have with changing it. Um, right. So they can pick one that works for them. Maybe we'll go with Samantha. Maybe I want it to be slowed down a little bit um, and things like that. So here are your settings. You can play with a lot here, right? So now if I select my thing and I go play. Welcome to Planets for Kids. I really hope you enjoy the information that I have provided on this website. So I actually don't like Samantha. I preferred the previous voice, but you understand. So that's how you can kind of change that up. So maybe uh, if I'm working on word fluency with my students and reading skills and strategies that I want to hear them read, but we all know in a classroom it can get a little chaotic and finding time to read with every student can often be difficult um, regularly. This program is going to allow it to happen as well. So I've had it read it to me, so I've heard it. I'm becoming familiarized with it for those students that are really um, working on their reading skills still. Um, now I'm going to practice reading it aloud because read aloud is an important part of the literacy process. So I click on this button here. Okay. Um, I have a start recording feature, so I'm going to click start recording. Welcome. Welcome to Planets for Kids. I really hope you enjoy the information that I've provided on this website. You'll find lots of information about our solar system with lots of questions and answers and games for you to play. We also have a color in section where you can download pictures and have fun. Remember, everything here is kid friendly, so let's get started. And I'm going to stop that for now. Ordinarily, I would tell a student to remove the welcome introduction. I just happen to not. But here's the most important thing. If I press the play button, start recording. Welcome. Welcome to Planets for Kids. I really hope you enjoy the information that I've provided on this. So the student can play it back to themselves and do a little bit of a self assessment. Here is the game changer. They can click send to teacher. And then they're going to ask me to put in it and it can be sent through Google Classroom um, or you can physically type in uh, your your Google email and it will go to your drive and then you'll have that assessment in your and I'm just click on that for now and you'll have that in your notes in your records in your drive and you can assess it you can play it back for parents later you can put it in ePortfolios possibilities are endless so um, hopefully this helped. I know um, a lot of information. Um, so this was the read um, and write Chrome extension. Super powerful in terms of what it can do. Uh, it works on the internet, but it also works inside Google Docs. So it can work both ways. So even like instead of having to find a speech um, to text and a text to speech option, this does it all. It also helps with research. Um, it helps with vocabulary, it provides picture dictionaries, really endless opportunities. Hopefully you found it useful and hopefully um, you will enjoy using it with your class and give it a chance. Thanks.